Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Sorry, I was distracted listening to Drake's new album, Certified Lover Boy. Yeah, it's a... Uh full of a lot of bangers, a lot of cool songs in this one. Lots of neat tracks. A lot of these songs are busting. Uh. Welcome to my review of Certified Lover Boy by Drake. Right. I should start off this video by saying that I am a I'm a I'm a Drake fan. He was actually the first rapper that I ever heard that I was like, you know what, that's kind of nice. So I might be a little bit biased towards Drake sometime. First off, before I judge the actual music, let's judge the cover real quick. Yeah, this crap, this, this some garbage. So this, this, this abomination was made by an artist named Damien Hurst. Now I don't know a lot about Damien Hurst. If you want to learn more about him, I, I implore you to watch this video right here. This is how I know everything about him. From what I gather, he makes all of his art just like this. He just takes polka dots, he just takes like medicine pills and stuff and he just puts them all like this. He just makes them all look like that. I will say this artwork right here is probably some of the best I've ever seen him do. And I just know for a fact that Drake spent like millions of dollars. God, uh, he paid Damien Hurst millions of dollars to make this art right here. He got his mm. cheeks filled with some poo poo from Damien Hurst. Judging just by the cover, I give this album a two out of ten. Uh, this album cover did not raise my expectations. It did not make me excited for the album. Wait, I take that back. This album cover did make me excited for the album, but not because I thought it was going to be good or because I liked the artwork, because I was excited to see how much stinky he could fit into an hour and a half long album. <laughs> you know, I feel like, as everyone knows, anything that Drake touches is going to turn into gold. So I have no doubt that half of these songs are gonna be bumping on the radio stations for at least six months from now. I think at the time of recording this, he's already set like some record for the most streams in 24 hours or some crap, I don't know. And that does not surprise me. So I've listened to the entire album once. There were a few songs that I liked from it. I listened to those songs a few more times, but as a whole, I think that this album just sounds the same. Every song sounds exactly the same with a few exceptions. Every song on this album sounds like Drake but like even more so Drake, if that makes sense. Like he sounds very sure of himself in this one. He sounds very assertive in his Drake performance. Overall, I was very underwhelmed with the album. The very first song on the album, the opener, the intro called Champagne Poetry really piqued my interest. I was like going into it expecting crap. And then I heard the first song and I said, okay, maybe this album is gonna be pretty good because the very first song sounds like old Drake, it sounded like the kind of Drake that I like and not what I was expecting. And then he leads into the next song. It's a bunch of sad songs made for like teenagers or young adults who are going through like some breakups. He's usually talking about some girl that he left somewhere in some strip club in Texas and how she wants to go to college. And that's like the whole album. It's like him just talking about girls and a bunch of money and how he's lonely, <laughs> which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just left the album with this feeling of emptiness. Like I wanted more Drake. I wanted you to talk about more stuff because you talked about that stuff before in the past, but better. And now you're talking about the same stuff, but like less good, but it's also like more professional. Like I feel like he's so he's so assured of himself. Drake is its, is his whole genre and he fits into it very nicely. Like I think that Drake has a distinct sound. He has a distinct flow. You can tell if it's a Drake song from the minute the song starts. And who am I to talk? You know, I have made a successful rap career and you know I applaud the little guys for trying their best. This album wasn't that good. There were a few notable songs that I really enjoyed that I actually saved in my phone. First one is Champagne Poetry, You Only Live Twice, and 7, 7 a.m. on Bridal Path. Those are my top three songs. Probably the only three songs that I will listen to again. I give Drake's new album a, uh, let's make it a freaking, I don't know, like a four out of 10. It's a four out of 10. And it would be a three out of 10 if it wasn't for those three songs that are pretty good. I want to make a special segment for just one song on this album that I really, really hated. This is not only the worst song on the album, in my opinion, it's a contender to be the worst song ever made. And that is very troubling to hear, I know, because this is Drake we're talking about. Uh, Drake is very successful and makes bangers. Drake has made some bangers before, but with this song, 
I just wonder what he was thinking. The song is called Way Too Sexy and it's featuring Future and Young Thug. I don't know, maybe I don't have, I don't have a good taste, I don't have a good palette for music, I guess, because I have heard Future in so many songs over the past like 10 years. Like ever since he started, I've seen Future featuring and Future having these huge albums and stuff. And I have no idea why Future has any, is, is so popular. Now the song alone is bad. Okay, but I saw the music video today before I recorded this and after seeing the music video I'm convinced that this is not a serious song. I thought whenever I heard the song I was like there is no way that this song is real There's no way that Drake recorded his lines handed it off to future and young thug and said all right now do your rap part and then he w reviewed it and then he released it to the general public I do I refuse to believe that that is what happened Drake you didn't do that after seeing the music video, um, I'm starting to believe that this was a funny song. It wasn't a serious song because the music video is pretty darn funny. I'll play a little bit of it here and you can get a sound, you can get a listen, you can get a little listen for for what it sounds like and how bad, I, how bad I, how bad it is. I'm too sexy for this girl, too sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world. That's freaking hilarious, isn't it? Look, Drake is, he looks cool as shit. Listen to the Future's part. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not cash money. <laughs> Before I saw the music video, I give that song a one out of 10. After seeing the music video, I give that song like a three no or four money. out of 10. If it was a funny song, like if he made it not seriously, then it's a banger. But I just have this feeling that he thought that it was good. Like who am I to judge? You know, I don't make millions of dollars making professional music. I haven't made banger albums before like Drake has or Future or Young Thug. But as far as my little tiny listening ears go, this album was not a success. And that hurts me because I know of some good Drake songs. I know some good Drake albums. You know, I'm a fan of Drake. Listen to Nothing Was The Same. Possibly one of the greatest albums that has come in the past 10 years. So in conclusion, this is not Drake's best performance in my opinion. Take it from me, my opinion is the only one that matters. I'm the smartest person in the whole world, and thank you for watching. Just real quick, I'm trying to make it to 100 subscribers before October 6th. We have about a month left to make, uh, I think, 20 more subscribers, something like that. Uh, October 6th is my one year on YouTube, and I thought it would be cool to get 100 subscribers by then, just because, I don't know, that's even numbers, and it's a triple digits, and I think that's pretty cool. So leave a thumbs up. Tell me what you thought of Certified Lover Boy. If you have a different opinion than me, please share it down below. I'd like to hear what you think. Tell me what your favorite song was. Tell me what your least favorite song was. Even though we all know it's gonna be way too sexy. But leave it down there below anyway. I wanna hear it. I think that's it, guys. See you later. Here's some, here's some good rap music. Bye-bye. Baby wanna smash, make love, make love. I tell a shawty, smash that butt. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up with the bell to the side. side. Baby, if you love me, get to sub and subscribe. Working on a vid every day. day. Yeah, day. I'm a gamer, but that don't mean I play. I My team is coming through, yeah, get out the way. Unless you wanna tussle with the gravity gang, yeah. Uh Gravity Gang. Unless you wanna tussle with the gravity gang, yeah. Uh Gravity Gang, get out the way with the gravity gang, yeah.